The Heartbreaking Rescue of Keisha Keisha the Tiger was born in 2000 at a pseudo-sanctuary in Sinclairville, New York. While the website proclaimed to be a sanctuary, in fact, all but one of the 11 tigers had been bred for use as pay-to-play props. Keisha was rescued with Zeus and Kimba. According to volunteers, Zeus was the son of the original female Kimba and then was bred back to his mother to create the other nine tigers, including Keisha. This is commonly done on purpose to create white tigers, which is the cruel result of severe inbreeding. What we saw during the rescue was unimaginable suffering and conditions that clearly threatened everyone in the area. The pseudo sanctuary had a pile of citations for not allowing inspectors into the property. But in many cases, those are considered by the bad guys to be far less incriminating than actually answering the gate and letting inspectors see what they are doing. The New York State Attorney's Office decided to send a message to all the backyard breeders, dealers, and pseudo-sanctuaries they would no longer turn a blind eye to the danger that these facilities pose to the public and launch the biggest seizure of wild animals in New York's history. With the help of the International Fund of Animal Welfare and several sanctuaries, 11 tigers, 3 lions, 3 bears and 2 wolves were rescued that day in May of 2004. Keisha only has half an ear and a little bob tail. We think she lost them to the lions who lived in the cage next to her in New York. All over the compound, the bears and big cats share common walls where they could easily reach through, injure or even kill each other. Big Cat Rescue had gone to New York expecting to bring home four tigers but one had passed away before we got there and no one seemed to know when or how. The other tiger, who was Keisha and Zeus's mom, was a 20-year-old tigress named Kimba. She was in such bad condition that unfortunately we were not able to save her, but at least she died here in comfort, surrounded by love. Maybe the worst thing about the entire situation in New York was that this is so typical of how big cats are treated in America. You can put an end to that by never paying to see or touch a cup. I think one of the most important things we can do is speak up when we see abuse. Whenever you see an article or a post where someone has a physical contact with a big cat or their cub, you have the power to educate right there in the moment. Maybe the selfish individual who posted such an image won't be educated, but you may actually reach some other viewer before they become a part of the problem. Keisha will now remain at her forever home at Big Cat Rescue where she's loved, respected, and finally safe. Despite the first 14 years of her life being a horrible experience that no animal should ever have to endure, Keisha's spirit was never broken. She is full of life and very outgoing. If you want to intern, volunteer, donate, learn more about our mission, and learn how you can help cats like Keisha? Visit BigCatRescue.org today. You can stand up and be a voice for these cats.